Akron has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. From his own goal line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Passes to the back, incomplete. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Back with a carry. Brought down at about the 21. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That makes it Lucky 95. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. He's into the open field. Fumble. Picked up by the linebacker. And he's level at the 43. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Looking for his man, incomplete. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Screen pass, he's got his half back. He gets hit out of bounds around the 46-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. And he throws it away, and that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Taken down around the 47 yard line. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. Scrambling around. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. Quick out to 
and his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Three yard line. That draw to the running back was good for nine yards. Gets out to about the 31. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Taken down at the 33. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. And this play is number eight on the drive. Catches it, and that's all. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So it's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Ohio is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Fires right side. That close to being intercepted. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. He wants it all. Has it to the senior. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Quick throw. That makes it second and eight. Got hit and still completed it. And he's tackled at the 21. That's a game seven. He fights forward to about the 20. The halfback picks up a yard. So they're going to go for it here. Quick strike, and he drops it. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. 
Ohio is up by three. He's out to the 30. Tackle the 39-yard line. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Here's a quick throw. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Number 80, the intended receiver on the way. From their own 42-yard line. Third down. Tackle made at the 42. There are three quarters remaining. The Bobcats with a three-point lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Four down, four down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. Ready! He's at the 30, makes it to the 24. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Hands it off. Nice run, and he's brought down. Ohio holds a field goal lead. Middle of the tight end. Big play, and it's first and goal. And they'll run him again. That's good for him. Seven yards. That brings him second and goal. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 79-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quick strike to the back, no good. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Quick pass, and they make the stop around the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 38! Mike 38! Fires out quickly to the tailback. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. Check, check, Disco Raver! Disco Raver! Slings it out there. Tight end's got another one. And he is drilled at the 48 yard line. That's a decent play. That brings him second and five. He might have a chance. Gets out to around the 38. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Number 90, 
seven, which brings him down at the 31 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Here's an opening. Brought down in the open field. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. This is the eighth play of this drive. There's a missed tackle. He steps out right around the 20. No game on the play. That makes it second and 10. Three down, three down. Come on, 16. I'm coming, 16. You mine. You mine, baby. I'm in your hand. He's on the run. Dives forward. And they get the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Akron is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ohio up seven points. Up the middle for a nice game. And they got him for a loss. He scrambled, brought down right around the 32-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled him. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down to the 35-yard line. Akron's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kurt. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. He's taken down at the 46. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. He wants it all, going long. And he holds in the deep pass. Touchdown, Zips. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think part of the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And down he goes, right around the 30, five yards. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. Going long. Touchdown, Touchdown Ohio. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled at the 38. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. 17-10, Bobcats. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. 
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. Number 25 on the tackle at the 36-yard line. That makes it first and 10. some daylight inside the 30 he goes down at the 20 that's good for a game of four yards first down tackle at the 11 call it a gain of nine yards that brings up second and one Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. That was incomplete and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. It's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackle made at the four. With the reception, number nine makes the tackle at the four yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Good game here, 17-17. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Got an opening. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they push him out at the 37. a yard maybe less with the safeties coming up making That'll plays near the line of scrimmage that tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest so it's third down now and they're going to need about four Ohio is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. It makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game.
And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Number 16, he carries the ball. Gain of 10 yards. First down. Here we go, here we go. Going right, intercepted. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. First and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. Ohio has a three-point lead. Runs it right, nice pickup. Hits him hard at the 32. Big opening. Nice run to the outside. False start, start offense. offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still second, second down. down. From the 30 yard line, second down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. Makes it to the 21, and that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Bobcats. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 51-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Nice kick, plenty of distance, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Catches it, but he steps out. He would have been better off letting that one go. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He chucks it downfield. Doesn't get there. Well, that's a great job here by the defense to knock that football away and set up a fourth down. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He makes it to the 48-yard line. down after a nice run up the middle. Third 
They'll bring him down around the 37 yard line. Makes it to the 27. it out to about the 16. yards away here on second down. Drop down at the 10-yard line. That makes us early three. And they get nice yardage on that run. out of the end zone for a touchback. Ohio's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, which has been so conservative, so predictable, it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Got it, and brought down immediately. So at the end of three, Ohio leads 34-17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Three down, three down. Mike 38, Mike 38, Mike 38, 29. Motion, motion, motion. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down. Under pressure. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and six. Out of bounds around the 41 yard line. That'll make it third and one. He's on the run, and down he goes at the 34-yard line. Number 38 on the tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Watch seven. Watch seven. Watch seven. Just look, Predator, Predator. He's chucking it. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. Mike 38, Mike 38, go! Alert, alert, alert. What a play, and that is first and goal. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down.
And this play is number eight on the drive. Roger, Roger. Three down. Two and eight. Rose to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. He has three scoring tosses in the game now. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. It's a great effort by their special teams. This team clearly isn't going away without a fight. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Three down, three down. Mike 38, Mike 38. Here we go. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. You know, talking with the offensive coordinator this week, he told us that he has a lot of confidence in his quarterback to make good decisions. And when he feels like he has an opportunity to put the ball up, he knows the receivers that he can count on to be able to make big plays. That's another example of that. The receiver goes up in the traffic and makes a big play for a first down. That'll make it second and four. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He goes out of bounds around the 28 yard line. That makes it second and ten. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. And here's another third down. Oh, it almost picked off. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. Accurate lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Here's a handoff, left side. And he's tackled at the 25. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. He might have a chance. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Akron's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Here we go. Tackle made at about the 47-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. Just over two minutes in the game. Slings it. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. That's good for a five yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 48-yard line. 
Let's go! Green for five! Oh. Run play and he'll lose yards. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it third and nine. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle made at the 15-yard line. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, 34-27, Bobcats. 27. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. This is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.